What's the Early Help Hub? The Early Help Hub was set up in September 2014 in Brighton and Hove um, as a way that people can access services, pull in different services for children, for young people and families across the city. Here's Ben Glazebrook from the Young People's Centre calling in to the uh, support team of the Early Help Hub asking for some advice about a young person. He's 14 and he's been coming to some activities at the Young People's Centre for the last six months or so. Um, he's seeming a bit down, a little bit low, much quieter than usual um, and he's been having a bit of a chat with a youth worker here um, and he's sort of disclosed that things are bad at home um, and that um, he's got stuff going on with dad, money problems, dad's lost his job, um, dad's been drinking a lot, mum's asked him to leave, so there seems to be quite a lot going on at home. Um, that seems to be affecting him at school and I think mum said something about because dad needs to leave about sort of the family splitting up. And the result of the conversation with the early help support team was that because there was more than one issue going on there for the family uh, and the family had consented was to send in a early help referral form which we could discuss at our weekly meeting and decide uh, what services we thought were best placed for the family. So when we receive the early help referral form, first of all we check that all of the details are provided on the form for the whole family and then we will record the information on our early help referral tracker. Once that has been processed, we will email the referrer to confirm that their referral will be heard at the next weekly allocations meeting on the following Monday and we will advise the referrer of the outcome of the meeting within two days of the meeting. Could you tell me a bit about the Early Help Hub? Yeah, we're the front door to Early Help. We answer enquiries, we take referrals to the weekly allocations meeting and check that they're fit for purpose, all the information's there, and make sure they get there on time. Uh, the number of referrals we get can vary, anything from 12 up until 30. Uh, the majority of the referrals come from schools, uh, predominantly secondary schools, and we also get lots of referrals from the engagement team within the Early Help Hub. What's the engagement team? Okay, so one of the teams that works with us in Early Help called the engagement team, um, they sit with social services. So they make sure that any family that might have had a social worker previously uh, would come into Early Help so that they would make contact and engage the family and find out if they have any further support needs that Early Help can meet. Um, and also sometimes families get referred into social services who don't actually meet their threshold. Um, so rather than those families just float around with no support, um, we would contact them via the engagement team again to make sure that they have everything they need and if there's anything that we can offer as a, as a city. What is the WAM? It happens every Monday morning and it's the meeting where we get together with lots of different services from across children and adult services um, in the city to have a look at all of the referrals that have come in that week and hopefully make some decisions about how we can find support and the right services for the family. Um, as such, the people referring in don't have to be specific about a service they're asking for necessarily. It's more important that they highlight what the needs are in the family that aren't already being met as far as they know. And we have managers and professionals from a wide variety of services like health visiting, school nursing, mental health and adult social care services, um, education, uh, family coaching and various youth services across the city. So it's a really wide variety of professionals who attend that meeting. And we have some community and voluntary sector uh, professionals come to that as well. So what was the outcome of this particular one? This particular uh, family that was referred in by Ben was discussed for quite a while at this week's WAM and it was decided to offer um, a package of support including three different strands. So first of all we thought it would be useful to offer the young person a one-on-one -on -one targeted uh, youth worker. Um, he was already accessing various um, support and activities at the Young People's Centre um, but to have a one-on-one -on -one youth worker from the Brighton Hope Youth Service was going to be offered. Secondly, we decided that we'd offer a family coach who could maybe go and work with uh, both mum and dad and the children over a period of up to six months to help them resolve all of the difficulties around managing the breakup, 
their finances, any implications on housing, and also really importantly to make sure that the school attendance wasn't an ongoing issue. Um, to pull all of that together, there wasn't a, a, a key worker involved with the family currently, so we decided to put in an early help mentor who was somebody who could go out and help pull all of those services together, do a full assessment on the family and make sure that all of those needs are being met. There's five of us mentors in the team um, and our role mainly is to support professionals working with families. So we don't actually have a key working role, but what we will do is support the professionals that are working directly with families. My role as a mentoring professional would be to establish what the needs are in the family by completing an early help assessment. Um, effectively, I, from what's said on the referral so far, it looks like there's issues around substance misuse, issues around housing, issues around work and finances, issues around school attendance, around um, being able to get on with school um, because of concentration levels, exhaustion, etc., and issues around emotional well-being for various family members. Um, so what we want to do is drill down into what those needs really are through the assessment process and then move to a team around the family approach where we draw in various professionals to meet those needs. Following your referral into the WAM, once it's been decided that your referral will be allocated to ITF for a brief or supported level intervention, I will email the professional that made the referral to notify them of that WAM outcome and any appropriate waiting times in readiness for allocation to an ITF family coach. What you can expect from me in the meantime is to be able to contact me to provide you any updates on your allocation to a family coach, also to provide me with any further information or escalations that you feel that you would like to pass on to the family coach in readiness for allocation. Can you explain to me what a family coach does? So a family coach is someone who works with families to improve outcomes really for the children and the whole family. And that would be that we'd be looking at things like education, um, reducing antisocial behaviour, making sure that all of the right support was in place for the family and the children, and also making sure that the professionals working around the, the family were all talking to each other and meeting regularly um, to make sure that the family and the children and the young people are all reaching their full potential. Are there any professional services out there you'd like to see more referrals from? We're really keen to develop referrals from a wide range of services across the city and we're working on new pathways all the time. For example, we've recently started taking referrals from GPs and we're looking to expand that. Okay, so the outcome for that particular family has been really, really positive. Um, after six months of a family coach working with them, a youth worker with, working with them, and the mentor got the family assessment done and helped to form a team around the family. Uh, father's accessing support for his alcohol use and is also attending a triple P parenting uh, course specifically for fathers of teenagers. He said that's uh, really helping him build communication with his uh, son. Um, there's no issues with attendance for any of the children, everything's stabilised at school. Uh, Mum's really happy because she's accessed some support and advice around money and finances from the Family Information Service. So all really good outcomes uh, for that family. So if you feel that you need some advice, support, or you just want to talk to somebody in early help, uh, then please do give us a call. The number and the email is coming up next.